All right. Hello and welcome to BU versus NYC. We are right about to start right now. My name is Jude Montero. I'll be commentating. Head ref here, Toby March. BU will be running for dodgeball control. NYC running for quad ball. NYC's got quad ball in the hands of number eight, John Kogan. Kogan looking for something, but BU's beaters, um, Aaron Richardson and Helga Bjarna Dotier, uh, with control for BU. Kogan looking for something. Trade of beats there. Kogan rushes in, passes behind. Teammate fields the passes immediately wrapped up by number 10 from BU, Joe Wei Lin. Lin brings down that player. And quad ball in the hands of BU's um, Ethan Dillon. Dillon is rushing down the field. NYC's beaters running to get back in time. Dillon dodges a beat, it makes it behind the hoops, passes off to a player who is beat. Uh, uh, Lynn, Lynn takes a shot, but it is swallowed up by Keeper Kogan from NYC. Um, in that chaos, uh, Bjarne Dottier and Richardson were able to get back control for BU. I believe both teams are coming off winless from day one of NERC. I could be wrong, uh, but I believe both teams have yet to get a win. Trade there. Uh, in the beater game, is going to get control back for NYC. Quad ball is on the ground behind BU's hoops, and Dylan comes up. Dylan Keeper comes up with that ball. NYC maintains control here for this BU offensive session. Again, um, both teams here really vying for their first win of this tournament here. So we expect a close game and a really, a really meaningful game for both teams here. Uh, Dylan with the quad ball up top. Uh, gets, B, gets the ball out behind hoops. And BU player number 6'9", Logan Packard with the first goal of the game for BU. We have a stoppage of play here. Not sure what the call is here, but um, nice job on Dylan there for driving in, making himself a threat, drawing that beat, and getting that pass off behind hoops to uh, to Logan to finish there. The uh, Head ref Toby March uh, asking his ref something. I think we might just be a ref short. We're changing up the ref. Okay. All right, it was just it was just a ref thing. Uh, I've got no color commentator here, so I'm trying to do both, but. Probably gonna stick to play by play so we get get the need to know. All right. Um Richardson with the only dodgeball for BU. BU's playing this 2-2 zone defense we've seen a lot with Ethan Dillon wearing the keeper headband up at right at his keeper zone line. So playing rather high, not right at hoops, leaving two hoops guarded by other chasers. Kogan fakes a pass, makes the defense jump a bit. Kogan fakes again. They don't bite. Kogan runs in, is immediately beat. And Dylan picks up the quad ball and is looking to run. Dylan is running to the left side. Eyes on the hoops. Kogan is unable to get there to block Dylan's shot. 20-0 EU. I thought it was third. <laughs> Oh, okay. I Yeah, scoreboard is just the wind is not helping the scoreboard table right now. Yeah, 20 uh, 0 BU. Quad 
quad fell in the hands of Ryan Kilkenny from NYC. Kilkenny has just subbed in. Our beaters for NYC are number 13 and 29. BU's defense strips the quad ball out of the hands of NYC, ends up in a dog pile down there by the right hoop. BU beaters cleaning up that action. Um, Yarna Dotier are able to keep control of their team. Dylan is running, but there is a bunch of back, but um, Richardson cleans that up really nicely. Uh, Toby March is calling no good on that on that goal. Toby March called off that Dylan blunt. Coach Harry Greenhouse for BU is upset by that call, as he should be. I'm not really sure why that was called off, but we are remounting, and uh, quad ball is in the hands of Nankavell from NYC. Katie Nankavell. Back on defense! Back on defense! Nice. NYC beaters able to get control there. Number 29, Bridget Rudolph, and... Um, Number one, three, I think, not on my sheet. Nankavell with the quad ball on the left wing, guarded by Dylan inside his keeper zone. Nankavell looking for something, looking for a pass, finds a pass up to Kilkenny at the top. Kilkenny looking for some options. Passes in the back right corner, fumbled catch and... BU will come up with it on defense. NYC running back to set up a defense here, still with dodgeball control. Dylan charging down the field, slows up a bit, lets his offense set up. Uh, dodgeballs are on the floor. Dylan to Logan Packard. Packard scores again. Score is 30-0 to BU. BU has regained dodgeball control. Bjarne Dotier and Richardson still in this game for BU. They've been in since the start. Um, NYC has taken a few sub lines, and BU has yet to make significant changes to their starting line. Number 1-4 from NYC, Ariana Verbanek with the quad ball up top. Richardson catches a beat, maintains control. Dylan snatches a pass out of the sky. Dylan's looking to run. NYC beater sprinting back to meet him. Doesn't quite make it for Dylan. Puts his hand through the hoop to bring the score up to 30, uh, sorry, 40 0 in favor of BU. All right. Now we've got some beater subs for BU. New beaters in, still with control, still playing this zone. Um, NYC bringing down the quad ball. Beat by BU's beaters. Bad forces a high pass by Nankaville. Um, Sachs picks up the quad ball. Sachs just into this game, sprint down the field. I think Sachs has been in this game for about 15 seconds. Uh, immediately intercepted a pass. I think, honestly, coming in from the bench, uh, from stuffing in, and uh, takes that home. 50-0 BU. Sachs is, uh, Sebastian Sachs is a new player on BU this season. Uh, I've gotten to see a few BU games, and Sachs is really uh, an up-and-coming standout star player for this team. Excited what we're going to do. We got some high pressure from the BU beaters, causing a turnover right at the midline. Dylan Nankavell fighting for the ball. Nankavell gets beat. beat. Dylan comes up with it. Dylan sprinting in. Hand through the hoop goal once more. Uncontested. 60-0 BU. Looks like BU is starting to comfortably create a lead for themselves in this game. Dylan finally subs off um, after getting almost all of the goals. About half the goals for this team so far. Coach Harry Greenhouse calling for BU to make a high press. Um, keeper Nankerville for NYC has the ball in her hands. 
tries to get it up there. Easy beat there for BU. Another turnover before NYC can even comfortably get into the BU defense. BU's got the ball in their hands, running down. And number 1-7 from BU, Rejwan Himmel, with uh, their first goal of the day. 70-0 BU. BU now has uh, a completely, almost completely different starting, almost completely different lines here than when they started. They are high pressing. Their chasers are on NYC's sideline. NYC has barely gotten the quad ball out of their keeper zone. And leader number 2-5 from BU, Leo Brooks, just, just messing the day up. Missed shot there from BU, but um, this player recovers it. Lee recovers it and uh, is able to score that home. Um, really, really fun to see a high press uh, in quad ball. We don't always see that. Uh, it's very high risk, high reward. But with uh, dodgeball control here, um, BU is really comfortable sending one beater up to put really strong pressure on the ball carrier, leaving one behind to clean up anything just in case the uh, opposing team is able to get some kind of high last minute pass off to a player that might have penetrated into the BU defensive side. Uh, NYC has not yet really been able to put up a defensive stand against BU. Most of BU's goals have been fast breaks so far. Um, if, if NYC can slow BU down a little bit in the fast break and set up a defense, we might be able to see some, some blocks here. Kogan bringing the quad ball down for NYC. BU still playing a, a high press. Just kidding. They're, they sunk back in. They thought about it, and then they didn't. Cleo Brooks really, really coming out of their zone. Makes a beat on the NYC beater. Uh, shot by NYC is no good. Kogan, Kogan slows down this potential fast break. Uh, number 10, Lynn, with the ball here, passes over left. BU is beat by NYC, um, and they, they successfully stop that. Nice job there by NYC. Uh, Well-timed beat to, uh, to prevent that score. BU still with dodgeball control. Um, playing more sunk now. They've they've given up on trying to keep trying to turn the ball over in the right in the midfield. Um, number seven seven Molly French here taking care of business behind who's not letting anybody <laughs> not letting anybody get there. I will now be joined by co-commentator Sierra Delk as Kogan looks to shoot and drive through a block at the hoop by Sachs. And looks like it's going to be a BU ball out of this dog pile. Hey, Sierra. Hey. <laughs> How's things? Things are great. Big BU fan. Oh, yeah. Well, we're commentating, so we can't. Oh, I am completely on We can't have a favorite here. Uh, to catch you up, the score is currently 80 nothing mm. in the favor of BU. Very commanding lead. Yeah, absolutely. After a hard day for BU yesterday, this is this is nice. Uh, nice for them to to see. Number one seven, uh, Rejwan Himmel bringing the ball. It passes off to Lynn. Lynn is tied. Up. That was a great wrap from twenty three. Absolutely, yeah. And NYC, this is uh two back to back stops by NYC. Maybe they're finally getting into their in their stride in this game. Definitely takes some time in the morning to get into your group. Yeah, I believe this is their first game of the day. Uh, so, you know, shaking off the soreness from yesterday's games, getting back into it, finding their rhythm. Uh, NYC's Nankovell and Zatz with control here. Kogan looking for something on the left wing, shoots over the head. Wow. Green shot. Really great shot. Rips it over the head of the keeper and the hoop defender. Sinking it. Oh. Has it no blood? <laughs> Yep, and Himmel hears that. He's running. They are running, 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 running. Pass off to Logan Packard. Packard. Yeah, it's a good. That's a good goal. It's kind of a little. Uh, just has to leave their hands. <laughs> it does. It doesn't actually. They can. They can. They can just 
bring yeah, it through. Hand, hand through the hoop. Yeah, hand through the you hoop. Know? Yeah, it was kind of funny, kind of little snaking action around those defenders there. Really matter how no, it doesn't. Goal is a goal is a goal. Um, until Toby Marsh calls it no good, then it, then it's officially not a goal because he does have the power to do that. You look in a high press again. You've seen this a couple yes. times already. Jermaine with the blue ball on the left wing passes up to Kogan. Himmel hooks that ball, grabs it. Himmel scores. Uh, again, absolutely. Um, all right, scores. I think one hundred. Yeah, hundred to ten in favor of you. Um, the beaters here, I think the MFC beaters really need to pay attention to these high pressing chasers and and keeper from BU. They're kind of leaving their ball carriers a little bit alone, uh, which is you know, yeah, it's not really going to help. Definitely. And then getting a ball back on defense mm -hmm. will certainly help dissuade a lot of these fast breaks. I can, I don't think BU has set up an half court. Break. No, NYC has not made them really try a half-court defense. Oh. And another shot ripped by Kogan finds uh, finds it into the tall boot there. 20-100. BU. Himmel's just charging down the field, goes past his own beaters, uh, puts up a shot on that high hoop, tall hoop, a little too high. Too strong. Too strong. You know, Himmel's had some great success here. I think that one would have been better. The whole New York defense was already there. I think he would have been better just to wait for his team. <laughs> what? I've never seen one of those before. We got some, we had some uh, fanfare for Serena as well as uh, a Creighton fan in the chat. Oh, uh, the Creighton is not at this tournament. If you're looking for footage of Creighton Quidditch playing. I don't know where they are this weekend, Great, but <laughs> they are not in at East Boston Memorial Park. They do like regionals, though. They have been to many a uh, region regionals. All right, killed Kenny back in the game here with the keeper headband. Um, Great catch by the Verbanic rushes and gets a pass off to number three nine Yang, um, but it bounces off a BU player. And Himmel finds the, himself in favor of the ball again. Uh, uh, passes it off to Sax to avoid the beater. Sax takes the left side of the beater, gets it around Kogan's wrap, takes some neck contact, unable to score. Good hoop defense there by 3 9 Yang to take that hit. Um, yeah. Yeah. What happened to both of all of those players for rolling the punches? Yeah, like literally. <laughs> Not a punch, but maybe a, a, a close line neck contact. <laughs> a reach. Yeah, um, both teams not the most physical teams we have today at this tournament. Um, but we all gotta we all gotta love that two hand two hand tackle rule, right? Makes I love it. Evens the playing field for everybody else. From BU. A great pass from Verbanic to Apuya, but Apuya is beat by uh Yarnadok tier. BU's looking to run. Uh Logan Packard again with the ball scores right over the head of Apuya there. 25 Cleo Brooks with two possessions in a row with incredible catches to force a turnover and pass. Yeah, really, um, really great there. Brooks in with uh, Bjarna Dotier, but Brooks looking to sub yep, for uh, Aaron Richardson. This is BU's starting pair of beaters in again together. Um, Kilkenny with the quad ball here. NYC beaters do not have control, but they're protecting Kilkenny from any kind of like high defensive press. Aaron Richardson oh, Aaron. makes a beat over the head of the free beater. Uh, doesn't beat Kilkenny there. Uh, but Sachs comes up with the ball, is winning the foot race between them and Apuya. Slammed it home. Sachs was like, that last play, you stopped me. This play, I got it. Not in the goal ref is also got <laughs> decisive goal there by Sachs. Good, Woo! good putting on the speed there. Ethan Dillon back in the game. That's also in I'm not sure if we're getting close to the 20 minute stoppage, um, but this could be why we see a lot of BU starting line back in. Either that or, you know, they're awesome, so why not? <laughs> Put it back in. Rotate through the subs. Yeah. Both teams with not the biggest sub line I've ever seen. Yeah. 
Kilkenny uh, in front is Caitlin Baker at Beater Richardson with another great over the head beat. Kilkenny tries to get her shot off, not not there. Erin uh, Richardson is just messing up the Beater's day in the middle of the field. Richardson running it's no dodgeball situation. You can go look at Dylan, energy. Looks yeah, good. Dylan doesn't quite take advantage of that. NYC Beater's running in, but Lynn, Lynn goes in. Lynn puts on an arm move and nice little shot there on the top hoop. Joe Way, Lynn. Uh, what's the move there? Sweet. I also appreciate that BU is recognizing that they don't need fast break every offense. That is, that's called uh, their energy for after 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. I also really like the ball distribution. Um, you know, at the very beginning of the game, we saw Dylan scoring most of those goals, but I think at least five five BU players, maybe even six, have scored goals uh, at this point, which is really fun to Let see. see the stat sheet turning all kinds of things. <laughs> Apuya puts on the move against the BU defender, but nice block. And NYC's Jermaine comes up with it. She is beat. She is beat before she can get a pass off. Richardson just kind of beating anything in front of her. Uh, Harry, Coach Harry Greenhouse for BU calling for his team to slow down. They do want some, just have to set up. Oh, he's rushing at Dylan. Dylan gets passed off. Oh, Puyo rushes at uh, Checo, but Checo's able to, to come up with it and get it back to Dylan. Dylan to Checo. Checo's looking. She pump fakes. Back to Dylan. Uh, Richardson just just cruising to victory here in the beater game. Bjarne's daughter uh, beating out these chasers. Joey Lynn uh, not able to keep that ball in, so we're going to turn over to New York. We just have the 19 minute call. Snitch is going to come out anytime soon. Rob Walsh, amazing manager. Famous name. Famously managing the Boston Forge and second famously snitching this BU NYC game. The flag was actually made yellow because of Rob Walsh based on his hair. <laughs> to match his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Killed Kenny looking for something, running around the right side. Uh, goal rep called this goal good. Toby thought the goal was no good. We're going to have a debate. I don't have an opinion. What do you think? I good don't or no good? Okay. <laughs> I have an angle on the hoop being on the ground. Live stream coordinator <laughs> and not refing this game, crucially, uh, Mike O'Connor <laughs> is <laughs> saying the goal is good. Would love to see another New York goal here right before snitch on pitch. Or, sorry, yeah. flag runner on pitch. Yeah. And, and, to, and to be... <laughs> not yeah. soft. And just to say, I just like when good goals are called good. <laughs> I don't take a side on either team. <laughs> I think that is a very neutral stance. We should call goals that are good, good, and goals that are not good, not good. It looks like it's going to count. That, How controversial that, is that? <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you, Sierra, that doesn't always happen here. <laughs> I have seen some tricky things in some close games here. Oh, we, we do appreciate all of our club Thank you to all of our club Head roughing is hard. That's why I sit on the sidelines and crack jokes and not, you know, call plays. Uh, Aaron Richardson makes another beat there. Richardson and Bjarn and Doty are really just kind of ruling the beater game here. Lynn back to Dylan. Aaron Richardson, oh, with a nice trade and a catch in the NYC zone. BU, BU's Dylan gets around uh, Kilkenny. Nice, nice. So, oh. Cool. We got there. Little ASMR in between uh, the stoppage. Uh, so far in this game, BU has really made it clear that they are the better team. Um, NYC has scored a couple of goals. Right now, the score is 140 to 30, making the set score 200. Um, nice even. Really good, yeah. Adding adding six to four to make it 200, really. Nice. Any score, when I gotta add six to like score of like 80 or 70, I'm like, oh, I gotta do all the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, and, and we're off. Um, Kilkenny is getting stripped by Lynn in the midfield. Lynn takes it, immediately getting back. A beat from NYC misses. Kilkenny tries to tie up Lynn, but Lynn scores it. My guess is that BU is probably going to be able to uh, get to six quad, quad ball points quickly, uh, quickly enough to put away this game. But we do have um, Logan Packard here for BU going for the snitch. Richardson and Bjarne Dottier uh, locking down snitch on pitch with control. Oh, and foot! 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 See if it was a beat before. I do think got a beat off. Yeah, they're going to deliberate this. Kogan in there with that sneaky beat. Getting these 35 points for his team would be really crucial. Um, also, what's really good is if Kogan can take off that yellow headband and get back in. All right, the catch is good. That brings the score up to 150 to 65. Set score 200. Set score 200. Nice. Nice look there for Kogan. Um, yeah. And gets him back in the cock ball game. So uh, that's really important. The cue ball game. Um, and Kilkenny takes advantage of beater distraction there. But Apulia kind of just slides into Richardson's beat. All right. Ethan Dillon charging down the field. Lightening up a bit. Looking for some passing options. Bjarne Dottier uh, calling for none, and yep, Dylan had to be like, oh, are there none? Yes, there are none. I will score now. Need to look. <laughs> Sometimes you don't believe until you see it. Sometimes you believe what you hear, but what you're hearing is actually wrong. I've I've definitely I've definitely been that beater who's calling for none, and there is in fact one. Uh, or injure yourself if you can avoid it, but. Have, more than half the time, it's not your fault. <laughs> Kilkenny bringing the ball up for uh, NYC. Sats and Rudolph in at Beater. Yeah, so if Tufts wins this game, they'll mind if BU wins this game, they'll play Tufts. Okay. It's the same for the team. Got it. It's Brad. The winner of this team Locked. will, the winner of this game will play Tufts University in the bracket. Uh, Kilkenny takes a shot too high. I don't think, I think all of NYC's goals have been kind of hit through the hoop goals. Maybe, I think Kilkenny had one good hook shot, but these long shots not going in. Packard charging in. Um, can't find success at that left hoop, but tosses it up nicely on that middle hoop. There are Sierra, how many hoops are there? Mm. The score? Only one. Just one, but, but it's nice to have options. I <laughs> do love options. Although, you know, maybe choice paralysis too. All right. Kilkenny running down, tied up by Dylan at the half court, but it spins out of it. Richardson is there to make a beat. Um, and the pass is intercepted. Um, Dylan comes up with it. Kilkenny recovers, but Dylan gets a shot off on that top. Oh. 18 to 6. Two more goals for BU to put this game. We have a stoppage here for an injury. It looks like Peter injury, which I did not see. Looks like they're going to be able to walk off on their own. Yeah. So hopefully just a little bump. Yeah. I will say, uh, NYC. It's a combination of, at least two teams, I think it's a combination of NYU and uh, Macaulay players. A lot of these players, this is this is their first season. They're brand new to quad ball. Um, and what I really love seeing from them is just, you know, I think they're learning. They're yesterday and today, and they're getting experience against some really great teams. Um, and I hope that they're going to come back and keep playing and keep improving. Like, we've already seen some really great, um, the beaters especially are gaining more confidence um, as as the tournament goes on so that's really great to see and hopefully that makes both of those programs individually mm -hmm. returning to the next absolutely Kogan now with the green headband in what uh Brooke uh er, Chico, Celio Brooks Brooks <laughs> rushing in oh a nice find there but
But unfortunately, that NRC player is not able to come up with it. Brooks cleans it up. Richardson tracks it down the field with Packard. Packard makes him move. Jermaine has it tied up. Yeah. Packard gets out of Jermaine's tackle. I, I really liked seeing her play yesterday, too. Defensively, she's a force. Offensively, she's found some really she has great spots. Great two handed defense. Yes. She can be really calm under pressure. Cleo Brooks taking advantage of some feeder confusion over here, getting control back for Richardson. Richardson's about to take a sub. It's Molly French. Molly French in at the BU Beater game. Kogan uh, brought up by Beater Ninkavell. Ninkavell right in front. Uh, blocks it beat by Brooks. Brooks. <laughs> Brooks catches that. Another shot sky high. No good for New York. Sebastian Sachs back in the game. Quad ball in their hands. We love to see it. Boston University assistant coach Vincenzo Chico telling his team to sell out right now. <laughs> this is the last goal to win. Thank you, Sierra. Uh, one more goal here. Molly French makes a beat on some chasers. Molly French is just in the New York uh, defense, ruining their day. Sachs goes in, tied up by Coogan. Gets a pass out to Packard. Packard. Oh, the what? goal is no good. Unclear inside. Confusion on the pitch. Packard picks up the ball. Kogan wraps him up. Uh, and New York swallows up that quad ball. Zach's still trying to get it out. And he ends up back. And he Packard. Packard gets the ball smacked to the ground. Jermaine falls on it. Jermaine has it in her hands. Hand. Brooks, oh, clean up these beats. She can. And we're so The quad ball so close to the ball. It came up. That was, tense. that was really tense. I was confused. The players on the field were confused. The quad ball was confused. It's always confusing when there's not a whistle, but everybody else has stopped moving. Yeah. Um, and you're like, did I black out? Everybody <laughs> <laughs> else blacking out. <laughs> All right, New York with one another possession on offense for them. With control. With control, too. Zatz and Nankville here. Molly French with the only BU budget. Oh, uh, Molly French makes a beat on Nankabelle. Makes a play for control. Quad ball in the far right corner. Fumbled past Sebastian. Sachs comes up with it. Sachs smartly waits for their beaters. This is Nicole Fitch from the Chico. Once again, saying to set up the off for this last goal. Nankabelle putting high pressure on French. French makes a quick beat there. Uh, Joey Lynn dodges a beat, but Hogan taps it down. Lynn in that dog pile trying to come up with it, but Keeper's got it. French and Brooks keeping control for another defensive stop. Sarah, how many offensive possessions has BU been at next goal wins now? Two to three. Two to three. Somewhere in that range. It, all tournament, we've really been seeing a lot of teams have trouble converting this final goal. It's been insane how much, not only just the next goal win scenario, but a run by the team that is next. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I mean, it's not to say it won't happen again today. Yeah. The three times then. <laughs> I know. Another, another missed catch there by NYC. BU, uh yesterday played a game against U of R in which they were they needed last goal to win for 11 straight possessions did not convert that last goal U of R was able to come back from like a 10 point deficit and actually win that game let's see if that's gonna happen no Himmel's back in the game Himmel to Sachs Sachs is like no not happening again Sachs puts away this game oh but we have a hand up you do have a hand up Oh, what? Something that you calling it no good, I guess. Me too. Oh, uh, no call. No call to play. BU wins 200 to 65. We'll now advance to play Tufts University. Yep. 